Hi Capricorn, welcome to your July 2022 Love and General Reading. I'm Gemstone Tarot and you are Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cross Watchers, everybody's welcome. I'm laughing because there was a card that fell out of uh, my Lightseer's Tarot and fell into a different deck and I kind of found it before your reading and I thought, shall I put it on the table for them? And then I thought, well, if it comes up again, <laughs> it's the ace of wands okay because in the shuffle that I'm doing it's come up three times so just saying that energy is out there it's a very nice energy Capricorn for you to have at the moment that one's definitely for you oof unlike that one Ooh. okay stuff going on stuff going on for Capricorn Okay, what do we need to know? Love life, career, destiny, any messages that we've got, please, for Capricorn and what they need to know coming into July. Oh, yes, very nice. A lot of people are caught up with a lot of things, Capricorn, and have been for a while. Oh, I can see why. Okay. Nice. Hardly anyone's had that one. Everybody's had that one. Right. Overall energy card. Overall energy card, please. I'm trying to kind of loosen up the cards. Oh, hello. Okay. Let's have a look. Yeah, you can almost see all that, can't you? Let's just go out a little bit more. Shove everything a little bit over there. The one that's behind the box I can bring out so you can see it anyway, Capricorn. To be honest with you, it's the Knight of Pentacles, you know, which is not the most kind of like dynamic card anyway. Um, Okay, overall energy cards are interesting. We've got the King of Cups. King of Cups can be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but also can be the kind of person that's a bit insular, a bit sensitive. Um, they can be musical, they can be emotionally kind of intuitive. Quite like that energy. I always like the look of this King of Cups. They look like fun. You know, that they'd be fun to kind of hang out with. Then on the other side, we've got the Ten of Wands. It feels like you may have had a lot of pressure on you. And I'm going to do that for you too. For all the signs, I've been doing a card that shows you what you bring to the reading yourself. It's like a signifier, what you're coming into July with. Okay, so let's have one for you. And God almighty, honestly... I reckon four signs have had this card. I suppose it makes sense with like astrology and the general trends, but nearly everybody's got the five of cups. I mean, it might be more, it might be even half or more have had the five of cups. As we come into the month, we are all looking at loss, what we need to leave behind, what we can take forward with us, what means something to us, and probably what doesn't mean as much to us. Um, there's a, with your reading, looking at these cards, there's also a bit of, sorry, I'm just looking for my water bowl, also a bit of a feeling of nostalgia going on as well. Very hot in here today, Capricorn. There's a feeling of nostalgia, of looking back, of wondering what, I, what if, if we're of wondering if only. There's a bit of a sense of this and there may be a little trend of this as well because we've got this beautiful card here and I, I really love this card. This is the Six of Cups. You've got the young boy with the puppy and you've got the man, and I always say this with this card, you've got the young boy with the puppy so we're assuming that young boy is about two or three and the dog is about, you know, six months. And then this guy looks about 33, 35. Are we saying now that the dog is 38? 
Do you know what I mean? Because that's a miracle. But anyway, let's put my wondering about the age of the dog to one side. And if you've got any comments for that, <laughs> let me know in the comments section, Capricorn. Um, Capricorns always have a dry sense of humour, so you'll appreciate that. This is the card of looking back and longing. That's the whole thing of this card. And it's also a water sign card, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and it's a card of memories and longing and King of Cups kind of has that vibe as well. You could be missing something or somebody here. There could be a vibe of, yeah, missing someone, the memory of someone, um, even if it's someone you don't really want to see again when you get the six of cups sometimes you get a smell of that person or a kind of feel of that person a song will come on or there's all kinds of sort of prompts and memorabilia about that person now the card that wanted to come out the most here was the seven of swords I feel like with the seven of swords that some of you there's been some worry about a person I say that because we also have the nine of swords over here and with the Nine of Swords, there's somebody who's overthinking, um, who's coming up with explanations, who's wondering, who's very head focused. When you have the Nine of Swords, the birds or the swords that these represent are above the head. I feel like you're a bit up in your head about somebody. You are worried about somebody. You're worried about how you see the past. You're worried about how you see, and the past could be the last few weeks, you know, or the last few days, but you're worried about your perception of it. Because we've got the King of Cups and the Six of Cups, but we've also got that Seven of Swords. And the Seven of Swords is the sort of getting away with something card. It can be the Thief card. And nobody wants to be somebody that's taken advantage of or that somebody's got away with something with and I think that there's going to be some especially with this five of cups as the signifier there's going to be some action over the in July certainly for everybody because everybody's had this kind of vibe in their reading of letting go of old hurts letting go of past energies and things that are holding you back and the welcoming in of a sensitive soul here with the king of cups now for some of you this person is already on the scene the king of cups and you will find that they are mildly unconventional maybe more than mildly um, slightly eccentric maybe or difficult to pin down maybe you have that slight feeling with the king of cups that you know, they have that kind of dreamlike quality, but sometimes you want them to just come out straight and say it. And they're not particularly that kind of person. The magic for them is in the poetry of speaking, okay? Um, and in the, in the lyricism of music and things like that, um, which sometimes for a Capricorn can get a bit tiresome because you're like, why don't you just say it like it is? Okay, why don't you just come out with it? Why can't you answer a question instead of answering a question with a question, which is what the King of Cups generally does? Okay, but I do like the energy of this. I feel a very soft energy with this person. I feel a soft energy with the Six of Cups. It is like a childhood sweetheart card. And I do feel that this person brings out your soft side as well, which I really like. Um, it gives you a feeling of getting in touch with the heart. And for some of you, that's much needed because you are up in your head. It's easy for a Capricorn to be up in their head. This can happen. I know I've got my moon in Capricorn and um, all my organization abilities come from that, but also my ability to worry comes from that. And Capricorns can worry about things. Partly because I think Capricorns see how things are going to pan out. That's why a lot of Capricorns are strategists and managers, because you can see the steps ahead, you know, and you can be like, mm, red flag there. I'm going to make sure that doesn't happen. And maybe other people don't listen, you know. 
So for some of you, there is a thought about the Seven of Swords. What's gone on? For some of you, what's gone on with somebody from the past? Um, there's a need to work this through because we also have the Three of Swords, which has been coming up with the Seven of Swords in lots and lots and lots of readings as well. When we get the Three of Swords, notice here, and I love this deck because you get this old battered satin heart. There's strings here. There are strings attached to the trees, but this heart has been broken and it's been mended, okay? But the landscape is very barren and the person is kind of screaming it out. It's like a silent scream almost, or maybe they're just going for a good old hoot. I don't know. But it's important that you acknowledge that there are things from the past that are, and this again has come up in everyone's reading, that are kind of operating like strings on you because you have this two of swords where you are kind of strung up by thoughts and feelings of something and I would say maybe held back a bit by them as well because there's this feeling of being slightly held back. I do like the energy that we have two pages. We've got the page of pentacles and the knight of pentacles the energy of this was we also have the page of wands, which adds a bit of kind of electric to it. The energy of this Capricorn is that you are, as a Capricorn, always looking at the long game anyway. You've got the page of pentacles, you've got the knight of pentacles, and I don't ever feel that I need to tell Capricorns that things take time. Capricorns know that, you know, but we've also got the page of wands and I love this. This could be a fire sign person. It's a person with energy and enthusiasm that makes you feel the same. This could be connected to that King of Cups because the King of Cups has a certain kind of youth about him that's uh, very attractive. It's very appealing and very energetic or energizing. Maybe they're not actually the what you know someone who's running off abseiling and skiing and whatever but they're just somebody who has that quality of energy about them. For some of you this is somebody you could have already met but also if you're single this is someone you could meet in the short term who you're not expecting to meet who's not a particularly sensible type okay hurrah. By the way, Capricorn, I forgot to say at the beginning, there will be an extended reading as ever, and the link is in the description box. That's where we do uh, more of love reading, and we channel messages from your person, and look at how they feel about you. Okay, it looks like you have in the King of Cups some energetic quality coming in that I really like. And then we also have, and I didn't even notice this before, and it's right in front of me, the Page of Cups, you've got the Page of Pentacles, Page of Cups and the Page of Wands. That's a lot of growing energy. Very, very nice growing energy for you. Page of Cups is like clumsy love offers, um, offers coming in that are not very well thought out, especially if it's the King of Cups. This person is eccentric and um, unpredictable in some ways, like we said, but also kind of flies by the seat of their pants, which is their attraction. They just, they're exciting. They say what they feel in the moment. And I do feel that, you know, a few moments with this person make up quite an evening. Okay. I like this energy. I like the page of cups. It's a text message. It's hearing from somebody. It's the energy of something starting. And we've got water, we've got earth, and we've got fire. So the only thing missing is the Page of Swords. And frankly, we can live with that, Capricorn. We can live with that. Eight of Wands, again, something coming in, a message, hearing from somebody, something being said. It can be a face-to-face -face meeting. It can be a email. It can be a message on social media. I think you're going to be hearing from this King of Cups. I feel like with the Page of Cups, because it goes page, then knight, then king, you hear in a small way first. 
So the communication which might already have started is sporadic and small and it's more like kind of initial text messages and stuff like that. But it escalates because the Page of Cups, if it becomes the King of Cups, kind of matures and you get someone who's more emotionally mature with this. So if you're worried about getting a message, if you're worried about hearing from somebody, if your experience is in the past or if it's an ex and you're worried about never hearing from them again, it feels to me like there will be a message, there will be something said, that the worry is almost its own worst enemy is what I'm getting, okay? And also with this Ten of Wands and the Five of Cups, you're coming in quite kind of weary. You know, the Ten of Wands is where you've heaped worry upon worry. You've maybe been working too hard. You've been doing too much. You've been heaping stuff onto yourself, taking on responsibilities. And with the Ten of Wands, the universe is kind of saying to you, that needs to stop now. It's about you. And then the Five of Cups, the contemplation of what's happened, um, the look here with the Six of Cups going back, the feeling about somebody that you've had and the need to hear from somebody, whether it's that same person or someone else that you know. And then the answered call here, the Eight of Wands, the initiation from the Page of Cups. And like I said, it's not particularly well put together when it's Page of Cups. It can be messy. It's, you know, not entirely glamorous, but it is, it is a start. It is a move in the right direction, okay? And it is heartfelt, you know, this person is heartfelt about it. Let's get you an oracle card, lovely Capricorns. In the extended reading, I'm going to look at the Seven of Swords, the King of Cups, the Six of Cups. What's going on with that Three of Swords? What's going on with the person? How do they feel? And do is there anything we need to know from the Seven? Yeah, particularly that Seven of Swords. Okay, Wisdom of the Oracle, Colette Baron Reed. Ooh. Don't know if you can hear the blackbird. Capricorn. It's a blackbird singing its heart out. Okay, let's just move those. All that glitters. I don't really need to say that to Capricorns. I don't think many Capricorns are a fool for this kind of thing. I really don't. But just, and I think you're already in this energy, be aware if people are wearing a false mask, okay? Or too much future talking. You've got this communication coming in with the Eight of Wands, but you kind of want to be on a real footing. And again, this is quite a slow moving energy, okay? Then you have the Yin card. And again, it's the opposite of the Yang energy. It's a stepping back energy, it's an observational energy, it's letting things emerge. Because what's going to happen with this? You then get the fork in the road. <coughs> Excuse me. And the fork in the road is where crunch time comes. You get the message, the significant message that you've been waiting for. And then, of course, the fun begins of you making your mind up about what you need to do next. And when you get the fork in the road, there's two different ways. There's two different ways you could go, of course. And the signposts aren't very helpful in particular. I think for some of you, you're not gonna know straight away, particularly as this message might be a bit eccentric or a bit weird, which way to play it. And my advice would be just don't rush it, okay? There's no, ain't no fire here, you know? You don't need to rush it. Healing with the Angels, Oracle Cards. Nice. We get emerging. This is emerging. It can't really be hurried. It's like growing a flower, you know? 
There aren't many tricks that won't harm the flower if you try and make it grow quicker. Or you can't ripen an avocado. Got that one off Shallon Lester. Something is emerging here. You don't necessarily, with that yin energy, need to do anything to make it happen. You just need to be in the moment. You need to be present and observe the energies. Then we get study. Now for a Capricorn, this can be any kind of study. Capricorns generally like study, okay? It may be that you need to study energy work and how it works, law of attraction or any kind of energy work about yourself and how you are because the King of Cups here is a very kind of energy driven figure. And I feel like Capricorns can be very um, project driven, you know, because of Saturn to achieve this result and this milestone. This is a feeling of getting into a different kind of energy with this person. It's like an invitation to you to a different kind of energy. So study for it. Be aware of what's available, okay? We can study feelings as much as we can study facts. And then you get new beginnings. This is a gorgeous card. Love this energy for you. Literally a new beginning becoming available to you, Capricorn. Oof, I love that energy. Okay, I'm gonna go do your extended reading. We're gonna look at how they feel about you, what's going on with the King of Cups, Seven of Swords, Page of Cups, and what message is coming in. It's the first link in the description box, and I'll see you on the other side. Namaste.